am Ravi, Ravi Handa. I am the founder of the website handakafanda.com where I teach students for various competitive exams. Over the last few days, a bunch of people have been talking about this particular logical puzzle about Cheryl's birthday on the web. It's all over the social media, at least in my network. And the idea is that people are not able to solve it. They are stumped when they realize that this was given to class 5th students in Singapore. Well, it's hard for them. As a matter of fact, it's hard for a lot of adults as well. I'll try and explain the solution for this. So we are given Albert and Bernard just became friends with Cheryl. They want to know when her birthday is. Cheryl gives them a list of 10 possible dates and the dates are given here. Cheryl then tells Albert and Bernard separately the month and the day. So Albert knows the month. So Albert has heard May, June, July or August. So Albert has four options. Bernard on the other hand knows the date. So Bernard has what all options? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So Bernard has essentially heard any of the six possible options. Now, Albert says, I do not know when Cheryl's birthday is because whatever month he has picked, there are multiple options in that. So let's say Cheryl told her him June. You don't know whether it's June 17 or June 18. So Albert doesn't know. But I know that Bernard doesn't know too. So how can he be so sure about Bernard that Bernard doesn't know? So what does he know? He knows that it is which month. Now, what are the unique dates? Bernard can only know a date. The unique dates are 18 and 19. Everything else is repeating. See, May 15, August 15, July 14, August 14. May 16, July 16, June 17, August 17. So the dates which are not repeating is 18 and another one is 19. So if Albert knows for a fact that it is not 18 and it is not 19, how is that possible? How can Albert know that? The only way Albert can know that is if the answer is July or August. Because if Cheryl had said May, then he couldn't have known that it is not May 19. If Cheryl had said June, then she, he couldn't have known that it is not June 18 or is it June 17. The only way he can be sure that he knows that Bernard does not know too is because Cheryl has said either July or August, which means we are now down to five possible dates. That is July or August. We know for a fact that Albert's choice is July or August and Bernard has heard 14, 15, 16 or 17. He could not have heard 18 or 19. Moving on to statement number two by Bernard. At first, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but now I know. Okay, so now he is sure. How can he be sure? So he thinks that it has to be July or August. That much information now Bernard also has. So let's say if the birthday was July 14 or August 14, if the date that Bernard had heard was 14, he couldn't have figured out the birthday because it could have been July 14, it could have been August 14. That means the date that Bernard has heard is not 14. That means he has heard either 15 or 16 or 17. So if he has heard 15, the answer is August 15. If he has heard 16, the answer is July 16. If he has heard 17, the answer is August 17. So he knows for a fact now that what the answer is. And that means the number that he has heard, the date that he has heard was not 14, which means option of July 14 and August 14 is also gone. Now what are we left with? We are left with three dates, July 16, August 15 and August 17. Now, what does Albert say? Then I also know when Cheryl's birthday is. So now, the only options that Albert has is July or August. If he had heard August, if Albert had heard August, he cannot say whether it is August 15 or August 17. But now he is sure. Now he is sure. That means he could not have heard August. He must have heard July and Cheryl's birthday that we have been trying to figure out is indeed July 16. 
I hope this clarifies the puzzle for you. Once again, I like to repeat, I don't think this is a fifth grade level problem. Well, maybe in Singapore. Hope you learned something from this video and enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to like and share and also check out my website handakafanda.com. Thank you.